Now we're going to draw the sleeping ellipse. This is foci 1, vertex 1, center, foci 2 and vertex 2. 2A is the major axis and 2B is the minor axis. This is the general equation for ellipse x minus h square over a square plus y minus k square over b square equals to 1, where c square is equals to a square minus b square, where a must be more than b. And this is the formula for the sleeping ellipse. Center is hk, vertices is v1 h plus a and k and v2 is h minus a and k. For foci, foci 1 is h plus c, k and foci 2, h minus c and k. The length of the major axis is 2a and minor axis is 2b. Since this is a slipping ellipse, so the changes only at x coordinate. Now we're going to draw the standing ellipse. This is vertex 1, foci 1, center, foci 2, and vertex 2. x minus h square over a square plus y minus k square over b square equals to 1 is the general equation, where c square equals to b square minus a square, where b is more than a. Okay, this is the formula for the slip, uh, standing ellipse. So the center is also hk. Uh, differences at vertices and foci 1. As vertices 1 is h, k plus b and vertices 2 is h, k minus b. For foci 1, h, k plus c and foci 2, h, k minus c. For your major axis, it is 2b and your minor axis is 2a. The slip standing ellipse, so the changes is only at the y coordinates. Now we're going to do completing the square. x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 12 equals to 0. Now we're going to group the same unknowns together. x square minus 4x plus y square plus 6y minus 12 equals to 0. For completing the square, we have a big bracket and a small bracket. Since we have two unknowns, we have two big brackets and two small brackets. Next, the sign between would be plus inside, minus outside, plus inside, and a minus outside. Between the both brackets is a plus sign. For two unknowns, we have two big brackets. x, negative 4 over 2 squared. And here would be negative 4 over 2 squared. Would be y. 6 over 2 squared and 6 over 2 squared copy back minus 12 equals to 0 x minus 2 squared minus 4 plus y plus 3 squared minus 3 minus 12 equals to 0 x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared minus 19 equals to 0. Now, we compare to the general formula where x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals to 1. So, we rearrange the equation and you should get a 1. So, you should divide the equation by 19. So, x minus 2 squared over 19 plus y plus 3 squared over 19 equals to 1. From this equation, we know that h equals to 2, k equals to negative 3. a squared and b squared is equal the foci of an ellipse are negative 1, 6 and negative 1, 0 with the length of the major axis is 10 units. Find the equation of the ellipse and sketch the ellipse.
First, we're going to sketch the graph. We know that it is a standing ellipse as there's only difference in the y coordinates. Given was your fo foci 1 is negative 1, 6 and your foci 2 is negative 1, 0. Second step, based on your fo given foci, we're going to find our H, K, C, K minus C is equals to 0, so K is equals to C. K plus C is equals to 6, so 2K is equals to 6. K is equals to 3, your C is also equals to 3. H equals to negative 1, 2B is equals to 10, B equals to 5. So we substitute to the equation C squared equals to B squared minus A squared. 3 squared is equals to 5 squared minus A squared. Negative 16 is equals to negative A squared. A is equals to 4. Now we're going to substitute the following information to the general equation. x minus negative 1 squared over 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared over 5 squared equals to 1. So x plus 1 squared over 16 plus y minus 3 squared over 25 equals to 1.